Hey everybody, Tommy Eddy here, the Master Sales Trainer, Closer, f and Guy. I was doing a conference call with one of my 20 groups the other day and a couple of the newer dealers were curious where I was getting some of my numbers from. You can get numbers from all over the place, but there's only a few places where they're going to be accurate. And you've got to get old numbers to compare also. So check this out. I've got hundreds of these going back to the 90s. They're from a guy by the name of Ed Lemko. Now, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, but I was fortunate enough to be a client of his during his heyday. Ed was pretty outspoken, uh, but whether you agreed with him or not, you'd give him all of your financial data in an Excel spreadsheet, mail it in or email it once the internet came out, and his team had put it all together in these books. And I've got stacks of them. Then each month, after he got all that data from the dealers, he'd send you a book in the mail. I kept them all. Plus, I acquired more books from the years before I was ever a member. You car guys, they did the same thing on that side too. Those books came from NADA 20 groups though. Now, I've been selling and running dealerships for nearly 30 years now, and I've got data to back up what I talk about. Just a few days ago, I heard something that I thought was pretty important I ought to share with you. It's about expenses. Now. Don't shut this video off right now because you just heard about expenses. Whether you're a salesperson, dealer, or manufacturer, I've got something that you're going to want to hear. It's obvious in these books, dealership expenses keep going up pretty much every single year. But also the price of most everything that you sell is also going up. Now, people that sell these things, salespeople like myself, our cost of living is going up. Start with the most expensive stuff like a home. They're always going up, right? HOA fees. Homeowner's insurance, up. Utilities, food, going up. Vehicles, going up. Motorcycles, up. Clothing, school, rent, gas, phones, college. But there's something that is not going up. Wages, they're flat. They're stuck, except for a few little pockets out there with special dealerships. So if you're in sales, like myself, then you've got to do something. And I believe one of the easiest things is looking at some of the most abused areas where customers are, and that's the phone because customers usually get on the internet, they check your dealership out online, and then they call to see if you've got what they want, like a price and see if it's in stock. And that's where we know a lot of salespeople blow it. I can pick up the phone, call a random dealership, and the salesperson will blow it. They think that they're doing a good job because they answered the caller's questions, they answered the phone for one thing, they were polite and they sounded knowledgeable, but they didn't get the sale, they didn't even get an appointment. Most of them don't even ask the customer for a name and number, let alone ask the customer to buy or come in to look at something. Hell, I can even uh, call most businesses out there, not just dealerships, but I can call a bank, a hair salon, a bowling alley, whatever you can come up with, and the person that answers the phone will blow it. So what I want to do for the salespeople watching this right now is share with you a tip that's going to increase your sales today by handling the phone a little bit differently. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this is you've got to do something to keep up with the cost of life. Your wages are not gonna magically increase without doing something different. We don't have unions that stand in front of us asking for more money. So you've got to do something different to make more money on your own. Otherwise, if it hasn't happened to you yet, it's gonna happen to you sooner rather than later. You're gonna start to notice that the stuff that you've always been buying isn't so affordable anymore. And it's because your paychecks aren't increasing. If you're in sales, you've got to do something different. I'm gonna show you how to automatically increase your appointments by 18% immediately, overnight, if you do this. So take this number. Let's say that you're the average salesperson out there and you're talking to about 50 customers a month. That's average. You're probably selling about five to 10 of them. And but about five to ten also have bad credit. Out of those 50, you tried to get them financed, but they can't get bought. So you've got a solid 30 people that are interested in buying, but they're not coming in because they're calling other salespeople unless you do this. If this is a big if, you do ask one little thing, that'll get you an extra 18% of them coming in to see it. That's an extra 5.4 people coming in to see it. I'll take that. You don't even need to do anything spectacular. So here's the trick. After you've gotten their name number and you've answered some of their questions, you've set an appointment with them, and that appointment is, let's say, at 5.15 that day, right after they get off work. Ask them this, Mr. Customer, is that an appointment I should write it with pen or pencil? A lot of them are gonna go, what? 
Is that an appointment I should write in pen or pencil? You know, are you definitely going to be here at 515 or is there a chance that you're going to have to change it? They're going to know that you're serious. You're not the average salesperson. I know that there's a few of you watching this thinking, man, my customers might get offended if I do that, right? They could, but then maybe that means sales is not for you, if that makes you a little bit uneasy. Asking the pen or pencil question should not offend anyone, and it shouldn't even be uncomfortable. It will only get a few more of your customers to come in and buy from you. That's all it's gonna do. If you're only talking to 50 phone ups each month, you're gonna pick up an extra five to six buyers real fast. Selling over the phone is really easy once you learn how to do it. It's just that most people never learn how to do it. There's so many different ways to use the phone and I've got most of the answers. If you want those answers, then get over to instantphonescripts.com. That's where you're gonna find the master course with these phone techniques plus a ton of others to help you make more money. That's instantphonescripts.com and by the way, you can also use the pen or pencil close to set appointments for your customers that are in the showroom that you're trying to turn into be backs. When uh, they're setting an appointment with you to come back at a later date, just turn your card over like that. You turn the card over and uh, should I write this in pen or pencil? It works the same way. Hey guys, it's been fun, but I've got to make some sales. So get my instant phone scripts course or attend one of my conferences somewhere. Give me a call to come to your dealership. I'd love to do it. I'm Tommy 80. Adios.